Hey guys, it is me, Adi Sorto. Guys, you guys are doing UEFA Europa Conference League predictions. Now, before we get started with the predictions, I do want to make two things absolutely crystal clear. Let's start with the very first thing in that the second place team of the Europa League groups that I'm predicting do not directly advance to the knockout stage. Okay, they would actually go in a playoffs between a Europa League team of a third place team. Okay, so I just want to keep that in mind that uh, for only the first place team is guaranteed a spot in the next round. Second place, they're going to have to battle out with the Europa League team. Second of all, um, I'm not going to do a deep dive. I'm not going to do a deep dive with every team. As I said before, guys, we have 32 teams to discuss. And quite frankly, guys, it's going to take forever to do this. Okay, it's going to take forever. I will look into each team. We'll look at their most valuable players. We'll look into each of theirs. But we're not going to spend the time. I'm not going to look through their entire squad and do all that. Because as I said before, guys, there's so many teams to predict. And quite frankly, a lot of these groups are very difficult to predict anyhow. So, you know, I, and this is just purely just for entertainment's sake. This is supposed to be a concise video. And I just want to share with you guys my predictions, okay? So, you know, I, I do apologize. I'm not going in-depth into this. I'm going to be, try to be as concise as I can. And, you know, as I said before, guys, most people probably don't really know most about these teams in this competition anyhow. So, you know, um, so without further ado, let's go and get started. So, Group A, we have our first group. We have Masibi Tel Aviv. Um, you can see right there. Then you have Lask. Then you have HJK Helsinki and Alex Karet. Now, on the pre uh, premises of this group, guys, I think it's a really interesting group. I don't really think there's any clear favorites to top this group. I think it's almost all well balanced indeed. And so we're going to go and start. I'm going to go ahead and do start with my first place team and then my second place team. I'm not going to even predict third and fourth, okay? Because the, those spots aren't even relevant, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. So my first place team I have here is LASK. I think LASK for me will top this group. You can see right there, guys, LASK have some really good players. Okay, let me just stop that. Um, I need to put this on this page. Yeah, I want to keep that there. And I'm using Transfer Market, right, by the way, guys. So you can see right there, they have some really good players. They have Shagler as their goalkeeper. Uh, he's their captain, after all. You can see the players. They have Gregor Grigrich and Gruber. You know, it's a really good team, guys. And I really do believe that, honestly, guys, I think they'll top this group. I think they'll top it. And Peter Mitchery, you know, it's a really good team, guys. And I think they'll top this group. They'll top this group. And like I said before, guys, they have played in Europe quite a numerous amount of times. I think they're in the Europa League a few seasons ago. And they were the round of 16 against, I believe, Manchester United, I want to say. So they have some experience. They have some pedigree. And they have done a pretty decent job indeed. So you can see the market value is $30.83 million. As for second place, guys, I'm going to be predicting right now, guys, it is going to be, um, I'll sh actually, I'm going to say it's going to be Messi B. Del Aviv, okay? For me, this is a really good team they have on paper, guys. I've been really, really think it's a really good team they have, and I think it's a good team. Their market value is 19.60 mil, and they're from Israel, by the way, guys, and they have done really well. Indeed, you can see their top players right there, their player squad. You know, very interesting. Indeed, let's look at their best performers so far. So it's L. Eric Sabaret, who is their left back, which is interesting. So you can see their top arrival has been free transfers, departures, you know, oh, and you can see right there is their market value is really interesting. Who is their highest market value? Just look at that right there. I just want to see who that is. One million. Okay, it's this guy. It's Jeffrey Perisiri. He just came from Watford. So he is their um he is their most valuable player. Okay, so that's really interesting there. So that's really interesting tidbit for you guys okay so let's go ahead and look at lsk top of valuable players i want to look at that real quick let's just see the most valuable player for each team real quick um that i'm predicting to get top two so let's see who their most who is their most valuable market value okay their their uh most valuable player is shagler with 2.5 mil so yeah, guys, I'm gonna. I think they'll get top two respectively. So yeah, third, I think. Um, I think HK and Elshkaret they'll miss out. Okay, moving on to Group B, we have KAA Ghent, Partizan FC Flore, and Ent and Arthus. And Arthus. Okay, uh, for me, guys, I think Ghent is top in this group. Ghent have a really solid team. Um, their most valuable player, you can see right there, who is their most valuable player? You can see their most valuable player is. Andres Hechi Holson is the most valuable 2.5 mil. You can see right there, there's actually several people with 2.5 mil. Tarek Tissudi as well. And I just feel like for me, it's a really good team. It's a really solid team. Indeed, you can see their players have near to Fortuno, and they just won 6 1 against Club Rouge. And this is a team that's in the Champions League. So, huge, huge result for them, man. And I really do believe that this team will top this group. I think this team is, will top this group 
five mil. And so, yeah, I think they'll top this group, guys. I think they'll top this group indeed. Okay. So moving on to second place, guys. Second place I have in the group is going to be Partizan. I think Partizan will come from second. And then remember, guys, this is a team that is from Serbia. Okay. And you can see right there, their market value is 32.5 mil. Their most valuable player. Let's see who their most valuable is. Who is their most valuable? Let's check that out. If it loads, it is Nemanji Jovic, 3.5 mil. And you have Lazar Markov, Sergei Zanjiri. So you can see right there, it's a very good team, guys. And I really do believe they'll come second in this group, guys. You can see, wow, their top goal score, Ricardo Gomez, eight goals already this season. Amazing stuff, indeed. So, yeah, guys, I think they'll um they'll get second spot in the group. I think they'll get second place in the group, guys. And I do apologize for the ads, okay, by the way, guys. So many ads here. Um, and I do apologize for that, by the way, guys. Okay. So moving on to Group C. So Group C, guys, I think is going to be very clear. I think Roma is top in this group. Roma have some really good quality players. That obviously, I already discussed about them in my preview. And I think they're, for me, one of the Europa Conference League favorites, guys. I think they're one of the favorites, indeed. With the Jose Marino back in the charge, guys. They have Rui Patricio as a goalkeeper. It just came from Wolves. A very good goalkeeper, indeed. Chris Smalling came from United. You know, you have Federico Fazio. You have Spinazzola. You have... Let's see who else. You also have Nizuni. Um, Zanilo, I believe, is another one. You have Carlos Perez. You know, Tammy Abraham, who just signed from uh, Chelsea. Borja Mayro. You know, it's a really good team, guys. It's a really good team, indeed. And I think they have a very favorable group. They're 418.35 market value. That is a market value, indeed. And I think they're one of the favorites to win the Europa Conference League, guys. Europa Conference League, indeed. So... Let's see how they do, guys. Let's see how they do. Or indeed, so you can see already their top goal scorer is Jordan Vetsaric with three goals. And they just won 4 0 against Salarantini um, a few weeks ago. So you can see there. It's very interesting there, indeed. So yeah, I think Roma for, for sure will top this group. I think they'll top this group. I'm almost 100% sure. And then second place is a bit of a tricky call. Second place is a bit of a tricky call. It's a battle between Sofia, Bodhi, so the Gilmud slash Zora, Bodo slash Gilmud and Zora. Um, it's a tough call to make. It's a really tough call to make. And this is an easy prediction. This is a tough one to call because I'm not confident with this one. It's basically, I think Sophia and Zora will fight for that second place spot. And I'm going to go with Zora to actually prevail and get that second place spot. This is a team that's from Ukraine. Um, I think this is a good team they have on paper. And I think they'll do well. You can see right there, um, they have some, they have their. Shevchenko as their goalkeeper. Really interesting. He's currently in, out injured, though. And then you also have, let's see, who are their most valuable players? Who's their highest market value? Let's just look at that real quickly. Indeed. So let's just see who is their highest value player. Yeah, you have Kozdrich. Wow, interesting. So, yeah, you can see right there. It's a very much you uh, local-based team. A lot of Ukrainian players, indeed. And I really do believe that they'll get second in the script. They'll get second in the script. It's a tough call between them and Sofia. I think th this one can go either way, if I'm being honest. And the Group D, guys. Group D, you have a very interesting group. AZ, Alkmaar, FJ, Jablonik, Rangers, FC, CFR, Kluge. This is a tough group in my hand. A lot of these groups, man, are really tough, man. A lot of these groups are really tough. And I would even go as far as say that this is actually the hardest of the three competitions to predict. Okay? So, I'm going to say AZ, Alkmaar will top this group. I think they have the best crop of players. Um, I'm really liking what this team from um, this team from the Eredivisie can do. And I really do believe they can challenge well. You look at the players they have. You know, market value. The market value is insane, guys. Let's look at the market value indeed. So, what does their value like? Um, yeah, so let's just see. So, their market value. Wow. Owen Winsdale with 17.5 mil. He's currently out injured, though. They yeah, have um, Mitsko, Carson, Gutsuri. You know, it's a lot of uh, IX players. and I'm not IX players. There's a lot of Netherlands players, indeed, which is really interesting. So, yeah, man, I really do believe they'll do good. They'll do good. And I think they'll top this group, guys. I think they'll top this group, indeed. So you can see their top arrivals. It's been really interesting, guys. Their top goal scorers with one goal. And you can see right there they won 3-1 against Hernavin um, a few weeks ago, indeed. So, yeah. So yeah, I I think they'll I think they'll top this group, guys. I think they'll top this group indeed. As for second place, second place is a tough call to make because I've no, late, I noticed lately that CFR Kluge have been, haven't done too too well as recently. But I'm still going to be predicting them to come in second, um, just ahead of 
Rangers. I think Rangers will be fighting it out for that third place spot. But yeah, man, I think CFR Cluj, I think they'll get second. Um, it's a bit of a tricky call to make because, you know, I don't, it's difficult to say, but I think they'll get second spot. Gets you right there, their most valuable player indeed. Who is the most valuable player indeed? Let's just look at that real quickly. Um, I'm using transfer market, by the way. So you have Andre Borka, 3.3 mil, Christian Mane, yeah. And so I think they'll get second, guys. I think they'll get second indeed. And so, yeah, you can see a lot of the transfer in free and a lot of departures they've also made for free as well in the top goals cards. Petrucci with three goals in their last match was a few weeks ago indeed. So, yeah, man, really, really good stuff indeed from CFR Clues. So I think they'll get second place, guys. So second place indeed. So we're moving on to Group E, guys. We're getting to the... Uh, we just did halfway of the video, so we're 10 minutes in, so hopefully we can finish this within 20 minutes. And now, Group E, guys. This is a tough group, guys. Group E is insane, guys. This is probably the best group we have in the Europa Conference League, and that is Slavia Pra, Union Berlin, Feyenoord, Masibi Afia. Now, this is a really a wild card prediction to make, and I might regret this significantly, but I'm going to go ahead and say right now, guys. I think Union Berlin is top in this group, guys. Union Berlin, man. I really am impressed with the Union Berlin team. They've done really well in the Bundesliga last season. And I really do believe this is a team you cannot write upon. You know, this is a really solid team indeed. You know, you have Rono, who just transferred from Eintracht Frankfurt. You know, and I think they'll top this group, guys. I think they'll top this group. You have Federich, 10 million indeed. You have Konichi, Cruz, Kadira, you know, Anui, Promol, you know. It's a really good team, guys. It's a really solid team indeed. And I really do believe they could do something well. I mean, they want just won against Borussia Mönchengladbach a few weeks ago. That's an incredible achievement. You know, this is a team that was that was a team that was in the Champions League before. So yeah, man, I, I think they'll do it, guys. I think they'll top this group. That might come as a surprise pick, and some people might be surprised I'm saying this, but I really do believe they'll come second. As for second place, guys, I was gonna pick Slavia Pra, but I've noticed that they have done really, really poorly indeed. And in fact, by the way, guys, I think Slavia Prague, they were actually in the Champions League qualification and they dropped all the way down to the Europa Conference League. That is so sad to see this team that was in a Champions League that managed to get a draw against Barcelona to now even be in the Conference League. I mean, they have fallen off significantly and they lost 4-0 to Arsenal in last year's Europa League last season. So, yeah, man, um, I'm going to say Feyenoord gets second. I'm going to say Feyenoord really gets second, guys. I think this is a team that... And that is a really good team indeed. They're from the um, Ajax. Not Ajax. Why well, keep saying Ajax? I always keep in thinking of Ajax, guys, for some reason. I mean, the area busy. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you have some really good players. You have Marco Sensi. You have, let's see, who else? Who else? A really good team. Players you have. You have Orna Kutri, Nelson, Reese Nelson, you know. Yes, Sinistri, Bujo. You know, I really do believe that this Feyenoord team could do something special, guys. And I think they'll get... I think they, they could come second in this group. I think they could definitely come second indeed. And who knows? Not even top of this group for what I know. But yeah, I think they'll definitely get second. I think they'll definitely get second indeed. So it's a really tough group, though. It's a really tough group indeed because I wouldn't be surprised if Slavia or Masibi Hafia managed to get that spot. But for right now, guys, I'm going to say Union Berlin top and Fire North second. And the group F, guys, we have a really interesting group. We have Copenhagen, Slavia, Batseries, Park and Lincoln FC. I'm going to say Copenhagen should top this group. This is a team that's from Denmark. We have seen how well the Denmark national team has done. Um, they've done superbly well. And also, remember, guys, um, their Panama manager is also from Denmark as well. He's done really well. Christensen has done really well with Panama. And I just feel like for me, this um, team from uh, this Denmark team, Danish team, has done really, really well. And you have Jonas Wind, who's, he had a really solid performance. Um, for Denmark, I think he scored the winning goal for them. I forgot was it. I forgot which team they played against, but he scored a winning goal against them on one of the teams in the um, qualifiers. And then you had Joan Hansen, Kovacci, Lodzisin. You know, it's a really solid team, guys. It's a really solid team, and I really feel like this Danish team is really solid. Did you have their mark top arrivals? Jonasson, Gabriel, Larangi, and the top goal scorer is Piep Beal. So they won four 0 um, against the LGB key. So, yeah, man, I really do think that this um, team will top this group. I think it will top this group, okay? As for second place, second place is a tough call to make, but I'm going to go with Pock to come in second. I really do believe this team from Greece can do something special, you know, and, you know, Greece teams are never easy to play against. You know, they're very defensively solid, uh, very tough to break down, very physical, very demanding, and I really do believe that this Pock team can do something special. You can look at the players they have. You can see right there, guys, you have Metri, Ingensen, Zikovic, Suitsiki, Abkom, you know, it's it's a really solid team, guys. It's a really solid team, and I think they'll come second in the group, guys. I think they'll come second in the group, indeed. Okay? 
Moving on to Group um, G, guys. So we're in the penultimate group. We have Tottenham Hotspur, Sad Rens, Vitesse, Ness, and Esmora. Um, This is a pretty obvious one. I think Spurs are top in this group. They have a plethora of players. You have Kane. You have Son. You have Ndombele. You have Emerson Royale, who just moved from Barcelona to Spurs. You have Lo Celso. You have, let's see who else. You have Lloris. You have Nuno Espirito Santos. And I really do believe that Spurs should be taking this competition very seriously because this is a competition I think they have a very good chance to win. And I really do fancy the odds very significantly. You know, this is a really good competition to win. And they can finally win some silverware, you know. And so let's see if Tottenham could actually win a trophy this season from the Europa Conference League, you know. And as for second, guys, second for me is going to be Stad Rens. I think for me, they have done a really good job with their team. A really solid job indeed. And I know they did let go of um, Eduardo Camavinga. I know they sold him to Real Madrid. But even still, I feel like this is still a good team, guys. They still have Gonemis as a goalkeeper. You still have Badi. You still have Omari. You still have uh, Santa Maria. You know, you more Medjuri. You know, Doku, Jeremy Doku as well, who's a really solid player. Unfortunately, he's injured right now, so hopefully he can do well. You have Niang as well, Albini, Gitchki. You know, it's a really solid team, guys. It's a really solid team indeed. And I really do believe that this Rens team, they could do something special. I think they can get second in the group. And at least I expect them to get second there, okay? And then moving on, guys. We're moving on to the final group, which is interesting, guys. So we have Basel, Ominia, Gart, Almaty, and Kowarbeck, FK. I'm going to say Basel should top this group. I think Basel will top this group indeed. You look at the players they have. They have some really good players indeed. And yeah, guys, so I think they'll top this group. So let's look at the players they have. So let us see who do they have. Market value. Uh, you have Arthur Cabal, Sebastian Esposto, Jolson, Thomas Tavares, you know, who just transferred from Benfica. Um, then you have Mateus Palacios, Indoyo, Pomerid. So. Yeah, man, I think this is a Basel team will top this group, guys. I think this Basel team will top this group. And you can see their latest, their top goal scorers, Arthur Cabal, with seven goals. And so they had a 1 1 draw against Young Boys. So, yeah, interesting stuff indeed. And the second place, guys, I'm going to say Quarbeg. I think Quarbeg will get second in the group, guys. I think they've done some fantastic job indeed, guys. And I think they'll get second, guys. I think they'll get second in the U for the players they have. Um, you know, um, let's just look at the players real quick who they have. You have Al Abdili Zobri, Marco uh, Vesavich, Kara uh, Kwerbeg. You know, it's going to be really interesting to see how they do. But yeah, man, I, I think they'll do a second. I think second's very doable for them. So, yeah. I want you guys to comment down below your predictions. Actually, hold up. This is Team Strategy. Actually, hold up, guys. I may, I changed my mind, guys. I'm sorry. I, I, I actually predicted the wrong team. It's going to be Omenia that I have in second, not quarterback so i do apologize in advance guys it's gonna be all many of that i have a second by the way guys i do apologize in advance um for that one so let me just read that one so yeah quarterback i think they'll get third actually not second so many you can see right there the market value is really interesting let's see who they have you have fabian uh fabiano you have etzmi who's their latest player from dinamo zagreb kosaris tizanis adam lang then you have lesser so yeah man it's a really interesting stuff and they really interesting stuff and they won five two against I mean, actually, they lost 5-2 to Royal Antwerp, so, yeah, interesting time was deep. But I think they'll get second in the group, guys. I think they'll get second in the group. So I want you guys to comment down below Europa Conference League predictions, guys. Let me just do a quick recap of my predictions real quick. So Group A, guys, I have, um, okay, sorry. I have Group A, I have Lask coming in first, and then I have Messi Vita Tel Aviv second, and then Group B, I have Ghent top, and then Partizan second. Group C, I have Roma first, and then Zora second. Um, group D, I have AZ Alkmaar first, and then second, CF Rock Kluge. And then Group E, I have Union Berlin first, Feyenoord second. And group F, I have Copenhagen first, Pauk second. And Group G, I have Spurs first, Ren second. And the Group H, I have Basel first, Omenia second. So I want you guys to comment down below your predictions, guys. And also, I want you guys to comment down below who are um, your favorites to win the Europa Conference League, and also who are your top goal scorers. My top goal scorers, guys, I think it's going to be Harry Kane. And I'm going to say um, Tammy Abraham. Those are my two picks. Son, as well as also another good contention. But I think we'll probably see one of the top goal scores from either of those teams. Either Spurs or Roma, guys, if I'm being honest. So that's it for today, guys. Remember, guys, remember, guys, check out my meme, my other platforms, my Twitch, my Discord, and my email. And remember, guys, to comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.